All right. No seeds. So here we are. We depart. Okay, a classic combo. A lot of scourges, but Hellhorn's here. We have no fear. Semi-decent starters. Cultivating. Uh, a little hasty. I think I actually would have preferred bristling there. Because it's double scourge. Uh, can I get a redo? Tails, sure. Ah, uh, shoot. Those are some good ones. Hmm. But technically, none of them actually doing much for me at the moment. I think Railhammer has the most upside here. Well, not, not really. It's just the most realistic upside. Um, Queen's Tail is like... It's nice, but if I'm going to get something where Queen's Tail was popping off... That build's doing fine anyway, whereas Railhammer turns a Steelworker into an absolute monster. Then again, an Iron Drop Cage turns Hidden Passage into an absolute monster. Restoring Retreat is actually so bad that it's kind of just still bad with Iron Drop Cage. Um... Railhammer also just hits with a lot of other stuff too, not just Steelworker. I think it's Railhammer. Okay, let's do it. Unit draft. We will leak here for sure. At least the shards went to a uh, trusted priest. Right. That. I'm gonna keep this alone so I can fit two Welder Harpers on just to secure Relentless. Uh, and. What else? Not much else to do, eh? Not much else to do but leak. And I guess we just do this actually. Because I do probably want to put a. Uh... Plus one. We can't have that. Should secure a mutless here. Okay. As suspected, we leak, but we got a unit draft under our belt in a combo that has quite a lot of good units. Not a huge fan. We could do Vine Grasp if we do overstack floor that needs to shift stuff around. Ooh. Now the nice thing I would say about Collection of Tales is... I mean, it's not that good, but if I don't find an Endless Imp, then that's fine. However... Hmm. I think it's Fledgling Imp over Ritual here. Because this magic is not paired with a unit, even though we have a unit drift. We got a temple here, and it's a double gap to the next temple, so we may have to do early shard infuse. Uh, so maybe whatever unit might pair with whatever unit here, 
but I can open up endless along with the usual suspects. I, I think we do this. Okay, uh, I know I have the rail hammer, but that's a husk hermit. Kind of shows how ridiculous husk hermit is when I'm going to choose it over steelworker when I have a rail hammer. But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely going to do that. Multi. Nice. Minus two. No endless then, though. Those are probably skips, unless I think I put an animus into a husk. I guess I could. Just means that the steels no longer have quick as a high roll, though. I don't think I need to. It's not like a huge benefit early on to get quick on that. Uh, plus, I have the cultivating sentient, and since I'm not really getting endless, uh, we do kind of want to get hit. So, you know, I guess we could do that. Don't need to do anything else, so. Alright, spike shouldn't be too bad here. As long as I don't leak. I want to get hit as much as possible. So we're going to do this. I eventually have a big glimmer coming in, so I can hit myself as much as I want. Yeah, maybe we also just don't want quick here, you know, as I think about this, because we may, if I never find endless here and I never find much other scaling, then it'll make sense. Arguably, he should not have played that imp, actually. Alright, Razor Sharp Edge, we'll take it. Uh, we should take the Ritual at this point. Then we can go to the Magic, prepare a Hellvent. I don't know, though. That Steel is also pretty hittable. The only thing I'm looking for at the Awoken Banner is Animus of Will for a Husk. And even then... Eh... I can just get a ritual down, I'll vent it, instead of trying to find... I mean, it, it, quick... I guess quick is still fine now that I have a razor sharp edge. I don't know, the Merchant of Magic could find holdover. Quick, multi, or... Uh, endless are pretty good at that steel. I think we just take the uh, ritual, though. We really don't need wide scaling when we have a Husk Hermit. Husk Hermit just is one unit. We can blast him with rage and still might even be able to get like a holdover on whatchamacallit. If it's a times five event, I do want to get this down to a one cost first. Okay. Still don't think I take an animus of speed. Okay. Easy peasy. Does this make me unable to afford... Oh, whatever. Here's... I was going to say, it would, it would have technically made me unable to afford a expensive holdover, but I don't care. Okay. And we'll keep the 10 in case it's hammer, I guess. Uh... I guess we take this. It's arguably not that good. This could actually be okay into uh, Diligent. I think I take this in this case. We're pretty strong right now. 
is a little bit high on shards, but I don't think it's gonna be that bad. Let's get some good heals. We don't spend money, so we should make a removal. I don't know that I put this down. It steals cultivates. So... I don't even know if I want to have these die. I almost just want to... Here we can do this. Hitting me is good. That's what I want. Alright, we're killing everything. We just need to find our glimmers to heal back. This fight is already solved. These work as well. I mean, it's, in, it's pretty likely we're running sentient on the floor with Husk. It's incredibly likely. So what I really want quick... Maybe something like an alloy would be better. I don't know, do I need the scaling when I'm gonna have so much rage? Probably quick is fine. Could also just run rail beater with husk, but uh, I don't even know if I like that. I think it's probably likely we're just not putting anything into husk. Right? Yeah, pretty likely. Draw? I would assume, yeah. I, I could put a steel worker in. I could work with that. does put us into multi-strike for party boy but I'm not worried about party boy and I do want the money I would go bristling flex if I thought that we'd have a unit but we're just putting steelworker into the husk so it doesn't really matter it is party boy still not worried I think I'll even go top floor Oh, you're dying from that? Wow. Okay. That uh, sucks to suck, I guess. Did that in the wrong order. You don't want quick this battle. I hate that that guy got sharded up. I really do hate it. Please give me some rage. R.A. Fuck. Uh, the 
RNG. It's like 50 shards. It shards up the tank in wave one. It bottom decks me both the rituals. So be it, I guess. So fucking be it. Oops. One more energy to spend there. I think we can go quick now. think we go pyro and by the way I mean we could have just skipped the event and that might have been better the one that does this because it's possible I don't bottom deck my shit there you know if I don't do this stupid event I'm a little less likely to bottom deck it had I done the vengeful shards which is usually what you want to do but I don't know I think the fact that I was already kind of thinking about skipping that event, and I do think I should have, um, means I don't go Pyrogrow, and instead I take a Preserve Thorns. With, du with double Preserve Thorns, we had no reason to take Calcivet Ember just as some sort of extra help into Seller of the Diligent. But whatever. I could take an Inflame, I think. Considering I have a Resonant Shard, it's about as good as a Ritual would normally be. Still gonna hellvent the ritual though. I could minus two the inflame maybe. Ooh, what do we got here? Uh, regen because I want attack I guess. This isn't shaping up to be that good of an old magic, but I think I take it. Still, it's okay. I mean, it's a good old magic, it's just compared to how broken all my Hellhorn cards are starting to be, you know. Uh, I think a minus two here is acceptable. If I'm gonna go double draw... I could pierce there, I don't think it's very necessary at this point, when I have a quick tome and stuff. I um, don't necessarily need that. Stealth bus we're pretty fine into. We can keep the double level to help her, maybe. I don't really need the restores. I think the torches are better because I can torch myself. Okay, what was the other one? Pierce? Yeah, I don't need that. Oh, we do want to do this though. We're going pretty high on shards. That's fine. We're Hellhorned. Hellhorn can go very high on shards and not even feel it. Mark of Invasion helps us. We'd take it for free. Beautiful. No need for quick. Love how much easier Harvester's of Death was than that last fight, just because of how stupid the shard... Uh, this fight on 90 shards is so much easier than that fight because of the stupid shard order and draw order. Like, such a stupid fight that was for us to leak like that. Whatever, though. I mean, you just see the massive difference here. Massive difference. I don't even remember if it was Stealth Boss. I think it was Multi-Strike Boss, wasn't it? If that's the case... Let's go ahead and do that. 
Uh, how greedy am I being by not doing these glimmers? Probably pretty greedy, but I don't care. A lot of a good offense is the way you kill the uh, multi-strike boss. So let's keep that offense coming. I think I can probably heal here. At the, this point, I think we can put this down and let, and let it stick, while also putting that on. That. And we're definitely not losing that. Boom. I think another preserved thorns is probably probably overkill same with the invigorating solution I mean I'm almost certainly going double draw upgrade already so I just don't see the point dark deal definitely takeable all right we can search here for some stuff the health is welcome you never know, and we might bottom deck everything again. Alright, this is actually a really good upgrade here. We have so much money. 750 I had. No endless. That's fine, I guess. Uh, don't really need to do that. Don't really need to do any of this. Um, so I won't. I can just take those. Okay, we really don't need these anymore. Um, though I suppose the restores are still like okay, but not really that good. Maybe we keep them though because it is diligent. I know I have, I'm pretty well set into diligent, but eh. you never know. Why is it always starting with dazed on this shit? It's fine though. We'll just go top. I got glimmers and other stuff for that. I don't even know if I want to play this here. Yeah, that was actually not worth playing technically. That's fine. Keep the other one. Weight of contrition, eh? Better off doing that. Eh, I can just recycle to that, I think. And again, we're just drawing the imp at the worst possible times, but whatever. It is what it is. Doing a wee bit of damage here. We may want to go Ember Upgrade, I don't know. Like, if I can't play most of my hand out most of the time, it kind of makes sense that I would do that. I guess. Kind of wish I took the Invigorating Solution then, but that's fine. Let's get you a heal. Oops, didn't need to do that.
We have some of that. I guess we can make it quick now. Yeah, I need, I need to take an ember upgrade, yo. Definitely need to take an ember upgrade. Okay. How do I still have 30? So I guess three of them are calcified embers. Good stuff, but I don't need it. Or one of them was good. The other two were horrible. Uh, to the right. Permi poop. Lights gift bad. Wing steel probably by default since we took an ember upgrade. Sure. Fifty health on sentient is always nice, but pretty unnecessary here. We'll just take our synergy with the pyre. Get 19 armor. Imagine that. Yeah, the restores are gone, I think. Got enough fodder for balanced gent. See what I did there? Do you see what I did there? Let's make you cheaper, I think. Yeah, we got no temples, so we may as well. It's win more, but fuck it. Let's do it. It's definitely win more, but we'll do it. Uh, yeah, surge stone, whatever. I like to shoot myself for one instead of 20. That's basically why I'm not going to do that. And that restore is coming out of the deck anyhow. Well, I guess I'm not hitting a vortex. I guess we could do it on a, a restore. It's okay. I probably won't spend 120 on removals, so it makes sense. Spike should be fine here. We've got so much armor and health and heal and everything. I mean, we don't have that much heal, but it's enough. In flame. Okay, if I put this down, it's going to be gaining armor. We don't cultivate that much in this fight. Um, but I'll never be able to kill that thing. So I don't know that the 5 rage is worth it. In fact, I know it's not. <clears throat> but I'll, I'll recycle it, it's fine. Okay. Do you want to play Dark Deal here? But I also want my money. Or not uh, Dark Deal, last... I mean, I want to play Dark Deal, but I want to play Last Stand. That's what I meant to say. For this fight... Acceptable. Do I want to draw a bunch of cards? I think I do. Who knows where these stings can go. Any way they please, I suppose. Gotta remember that I have winged and steel. They were just stinging everybody. No rhyme or reason. Just like a wasp. Aren't wasps the worst? I guess Razor Sharp Edge could technically have killed the uh, imp. I mean, at least bees make honey. And bees don't even sting you that much. Wasps, hornets, they don't make any freaking honey. If they do, it's not edible. And they sting you, and they don't even lose their stinger. They're basically the seraph, uh, the diligent of the stinging insect world, actually. I think that's an apt comparison. They're just objectively harder. Wow. 
Let's see if we can get one more ritual. Ha <laughs> ha. Boom. 2,000 something damage times three. Don't need the three, just need the one. See you in the next life, Trampler. Who's also kind of like a wasp compared to living armor. Living armor is like a bumblebee. I mean, you can't even hurt a fly, literally. Uh, these are what we like to, in the industry here, call... Very, very horrible cards. I guess Awake's sometimes okay. <clears throat> Impish Scholar, what do you got for me? Basically nothing. Basically nothing. Could still take it into Diligent just for the shenanigans, but nay. No need. No actual need. I think I still Hellvent Ritual. I only need the one last stand. Uh, root split and mask, almost always necessary, not here. I, I am telling you now, not here. We don't need that here. Dark deal. I mean, I could do in flame as well, but probably dark deal. I could maybe get a double stack on it. Maybe. Any more surge stone targets? I still like to torch myself for very low amount, so... Okay, we have a hold ever double stack dark deal. Pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. We definitely don't need to cultivate anything at this point. Uh, I guess... I mean, I have a bunch of stings. I don't know that I even spend this money, because it's like, I do kind of want to keep some fo like some fodder for Diligent, so... I guess I'll buy these. Because I have nothing better to do with my money. Oh, I should have done the Sting one, though. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go win it. Here, let's take the gold just to take it. I mean, it's there, it's shiny. What am I going to do? Not grab it? Okay, we can uh, start with Preserve Thorns, I suppose. Good Glimmer. But we'll not play that. I will play that, though. Okay, we can start with this. I think we will, given the hand. Ooh. Went from 8 to 50. 8 to 50. I don't even know if I play that, to be honest. Um, okay, we got 19 armor. Let's make use of that so we can just uh, do this. I mean, all, th all of these cards are like future fodder, so I'm just going to keep them. I'm fine taking hits. It's not that much incoming damage from Diligence Waves. Right, you are the fodder for here. Do that. I will play that. That is getting played. Torch, I think. I'll do it on this. And we can go... Still got 16 pyre armor. Kill that, but I do want to keep doing this. Cultivating is now going on to the sentient. Uh, still gonna hit myself, because that's what I do. 
Right, we can make you quick now, it's fine. You're lucky you're stealth diligent. You're lucky you're a wasp. Get rid of a torch, I guess. Oops, should have pulled that guy forward. Still got five armor. Uh, tell you what, though, I'll still keep the reserve thorns, I guess. Damn, yeah, maybe I should have played it. Right, that's a good opener. And as much as I want to play the last stand, it's kind of just like, who cares at this point? I'm obviously going to kill them all. Diligent doesn't even know what's coming his way. You don't even know. Still got four armor. Suppose I was technically doing more damage. Uh, in the other fight. But that's fine. Ha! You didn't even get an attack in, Diligent. All that stealth for what? For what? What did it amount to? All you did is delay things. You made your suffering prolonged. We could go mid. But why? But why? Okay, let's break those damage shields. Torch it up. Uh, I guess we heal, I don't know. Would have liked to play that last stand. Um... If I put this down, it dies. So... Does steel cultivate? I don't think we care about that. Aw. That's fine. At least it's not a dark deal, right? That right there is dark deal. Let's bring you to the front. Start destroying... You, I guess we could have actually started with the preserved thorns. If I'm being real with you, if I'm being real with you, I forgot that I had the trader's quill. Let's do this. Heal. Just do a bunch of shit. Who cares? Everybody's dying. I can incant him all I want. I'll give you a spoiler alert. There will be a flying kill at some point here. I just can't escape the scourges, huh? Can't seem to. Be the most I've ever torched myself uh, with an, a cultivating sentient run. Right, we got 19, uh, whatever you call it here, so let's do that and kill him. Oops, could have done it in flame. Whoops. Um, my sorry, or my bad, whatever you call it. I never understood that uh, saying, by the way, my bad. Just a uh, weird way to formulate an English saying, I guess. I think, uh, I'm sorry is fine. My bad just makes me sound like a dumbass. But maybe that's just, uh, how it needs to be. Oh, I didn't even get 60. I guess we didn't go very high on shards, so that's the reason. And we didn't really, I mean, we top floored, like, everything. And I took 28 damage there, which we know... This bull crap. Yeah, Hellhorn just does it again. 
I mean, at least Awoken gets to... It, if ever Awoken feels good to play, it's when it's paired with the two best clans in the game, Hellhorn or Wormkin. Awoken feels amazing with those clans. But, I don't know, when you pair them with the other three, it's just not that good most of the time. It can be, it can be, but... I, you just won't find a run with Hellhorn or Wormkin and Awoken. Like, you, you'd have to go crawling through the seeds to find your needle in a haystack for an actual cursed seed there. I know they exist, I've played them before, but... It's so hard for it not to be like pretty easy. I mean, I know this, it may not seem that easy because I was low on health for a while there, but like I said, I don't need to belabor the point or not, but I got two rituals in the deck. Both were in the bottom seven and the very first wave got like one of the highest shard count things on like the worst unit it could have been on. So results, not typical anyway. Have fun with that one. I, I know you could you could go real hard on this seed. Especially if there's like if there is an endless out there, you could also add like some self-infused fledgling imp stuff to the fun. Maybe even to go double ember upgrade so you can play the last stand more often. As always though, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.